Okay. <laughs> um, I love this show so much and I love Charlie Kale. It's impossible not to love her. Um, so I, my question for you is how much of that character is you and how much of it is Ryan? How much is a complete fabrication? And I'm sure there's a little Peter Falk in there too. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, the whole thing is a uh, fabrication and I guess the whole thing is Ryan and I, um, and I guess, uh, a healthy dose of um, Elliot Gould's Philip Marlowe. Uh, I've been stealing from him for, I would say, decades now. I mean, oatmeal in Russian Doll is just a direct rip um, <laughs> from The Long Goodbye's Cat. Uh, and, you know, Ryan and I sat and had all these uh, kind of like dreaming up what this show could be. And what I love about uh, where we landed is uh she really also has a healthy dose of the dude you know lebowski she's a little bit <laughs> loves the sun and the desert kind of naturally smiles instead of a cynic mm -hmm. uh i also think a lot that this is you know i was talking about i was like i think i'm ready to enter my gene hackman night moves era where it's very <laughs> sort of back foot like yeah, yeah you know you're not popeye doyle anymore you're a little bit <laughs> taking it easy and that that can live for a while. Um, and, uh, you know, Ryan, we talked about all this stuff and then Ryan, you know, sent me this uh, gorgeous script that was really did it. And then, uh, yeah, I think maybe sometimes people think, I think it's my hair maybe <laughs> that makes them think it's uh, me. Uh, but I would say we're pretty hard, diligent workers. Uh, I guess the trick of it is to make it seem like, you know, we're not. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty uh, dialed in specific fiction. I just think that in creating something, I, it's one of one of these characters, you want to make it feel very lived in and easy. And as if that's, you know, hey, that's just who I am. I've always been this way. I think that's she, sort of the trick of it. She has this great moral code, which I love, because when you talk about the inspirations like Columbo or Rockford Files or something, they're all doing it because it's their job, right? They have they have a case that they have to solve. But she's doing this out of the goodness of her heart. And I think sometimes like, she maybe even resents that she has this strong moral code because it's like, oh, shit, now I have to solve this murder because I care about these people. Yeah, I mean, she really sort of accidentally just because she kind of likes people and the underdogs and she ends up in these situations where she just can't help it, you know? And yeah. I think it's also so great that she, uh, it's kind of like the way in seems to be that she has this superpower or something, but then it gets very, uh, you know, human and sort of street that she actually just like a person has to crack a puzzle. You know, there is mm -hmm. no sort of secondary level to that. It just, makes her a little bit uh, quicker to deduce when something's suspicious. Yeah. Uh, you had an opportunity to co-write an episode? Uh, uh, yeah, actually, um, uh, with uh, Alice Jew, who's uh, one of the brilliant writers from uh, Russian Doll, which um, we uh, we wrote episode eight with Nick Nolte, and then I directed it. So yeah, that's, that's coming down the pike. <laughs> and uh, what was that experience like? For you was it similar to to russian doll the the experience you had on that show i mean i guess when um you know we're breaking story in russian all we are looking at it more of like a seasonal arc you know it is sort of broken up in the room as sort of like act one two three and then sort of getting into it uh, more episodic and you know then by scene and whatever uh and so here i guess is just that distilled because each one is really its own standalone entire world which is very fun and that's a challenge in itself too because i've heard some people describe it as an anthology show because i think we've kind of forgotten that this kind of episodic tv existed at one time yeah but it's also kind of like a little world in every single episode that you discover and then you leave it behind and you go to the next one yeah uh alice and i in writing it were definitely really like we would be laughing a lot that it was just so fun. You know, Russian all is, is so dense. It's like 
there are just so many levels and ultimately you're trying to kind of crack some existential philosophical psychedelic puzzle you know that is really uh nadia is really on the case of herself in many ways and here we were just laughing at how much fun we were having just sending scenes back and forth and kind of pitching in the room because it really it was um isolated and in a way sort of what you see is what you get and you're just building the best version of this isolated thing and also you know ryan is such a visionary I remember i was like on vacation in mexico over christmas and when he kind of like called me up and he was like so here's what i'm thinking for the episode and uh it he really it was like this uh sort of um almost like a monster movie visionary kind of you know throwback to universal uh monsters uh, for lack of a better term i mean i just won't get into it too much and not that at all exactly but uh the character that nolte plays is a real master craftsman let's say mm -hmm. and uh i was like oh boy so it was just a whole different world and you're really um going into ryan's brain is really fun and then i think we just had ryan and i had so much fun working together also in that capacity of just you know in the edit and uh it's building the sets and everything because he's uh we really were as much fun as we have just building on each other in re in real life in every direction that was so much fun as well well thank you so much for this i know it's a long day i appreciate your time looking forward oh, to you. the show thank you thank you so much